I was brought up, you know, stiff up a lip, pull yourself together, boys don't cry and all that kind of stuff. And then you're like a big rugby playing guy and you're falling apart and it's, yeah, you do feel incredibly alone. And so just having someone there is, you know, really important. Friends that are really struggling are, are, uh, are sort of almost easy to help because they're easy to spot. Actually, it's probably friends that you think aren't struggling that might be the ones that need your help the most sometimes. Kind of people say opening up and talking about it is a brave thing to do, but for me, I didn't really have any choice. You know, it was sort of self-preservation. And when we got together, we didn't talk about the illness, didn't talk about the bipolar and the bad times. We just, we did normal kind of regular things. Just really just incredibly just normal stuff, but it, it was kind of like a little anchor point in, in, the, in the chaos that was kind of going on. It was just a little pocket of normality, so which was exactly what I needed at the time. I hadn't played chess for 20 years. I could tell very quickly that it was something Tim was focusing on. Matt cheated, to be honest, because whenever I played him online, it, it, the game would be over in about 20 moves and it'd be all this amazing stuff and these, these openings and everything, and I'd, I'd be bewildered. And then when I started going down to visit him, we'd actually sit in the kitchen with a glass of wine and have a game face to face, and it was rubbish. The reality was I was better than him, and, and unfortunately he finds that very hard to take. Absolutely rubbish. <laughs> just kind of when I was just feeling down, I'd get the phone would go and it'd be a text from Matt, uh, or a phone call, or you know, send me a message on, or an email, or a stupid joke. And it's got an endless supply of really rubbish jokes, so that, that always made me smile. Because when you come out of the, of the other side of something like this, where you sort of try to take your own life and you can't, just can't see it beyond anything, it's just, just this blackness. It's yeah, it almost makes you want to embrace life and really like live it each day. It was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. So I'm, just, I'm glad I'm still here.